Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. And as you can see in the title on this one, this is going to be a new series on the channel where I um, take a card and I uh, go do my best views and how to play them and I'll uh, explain the best three cards that help them and the three cards that um, counter him the most. And since Van Gun is um, doing pretty well in the meta right now, this is going to be the first card that I am going to be doing it on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to throw some gameplay up on the screen that you can watch some some way, whichever way it is down there, I don't know, one of those ways. But yeah, um, we're going to get right into it now. Alright, so for the first, I'm going to start off with the cards that benefit him, benefit him first, and I'm going to go from first to top three, so I'm going to go to number one to three. So the first card is going to be Cheerleaders. Now if you didn't know, we probably did, Cheerleaders give a huge damage buff depending on what level it is, but since it is... Cheerleaders are doing very well in the meta too. They just got a recent buff too. If you use him with Van Gun, he does double, at least double the damage. So you're definitely gonna want to use Van Gun with him, or Cheerleaders with him. And yeah, um, very good right now. Moving on to number two. Um, number two is going to be Sheriff Justice. Right now, Sheriff Justice is very good. He got a recent nerf, but it didn't do too much to him. The slow is still the same, so uh, when uh, opponent's commander is coming in, you just play Sheriff Justice down, and then you'll pull him away. So that's why he's number two, basically because of the slow he has and the pull effect on the commander, because most of the time it is commander that uh, the commander that kills him. But that brings us to number three, Spell Rod and or Dome, Safety Dome. So I've picked these two because they do kind of the same thing. I would recommend mostly to use Dome because Spell Rod gets taken out by other spells when you can, when, uh, for example, Teleportal can't take out a uh, Safety Dome. Safety Dome, if you have it at a good level, it is definitely going to be better because um, now the opponent can't waste a spell to get rid of it. They're going to actually have to do damage to get rid of it. But if you don't have a very good level, I'd recommend you use Spell Rod anyway because if you when you upgrade him, it does it doesn't really affect how much damage he takes because if you put a spell on him, he'll die anyway. But yeah, those are gonna be the top three cards that benefit him. Now moving on to the ones that um, counter him. Number one is obviously going to be Nightfall. Nightfall has a very long duration depending on what time, uh, what level it is. Um, and if it's Nightfall, he can't shoot. So if you got a cycle going and you get playing Nightfall, he's not going to be able to shoot, which counters your deck completely. Unless you've got something else in there that does tower damage, you're definitely not going to win that match. So definitely one of the greater counters to him. Uh, if you, you're definitely going to want to use something else that you can try to get his commander with or something else. Try to get the win if he's got Nightfall. But yeah, number two, we've got Witch. Now when Van Gun shoots, you can place the Witch, and then if you, the Van Gun hits the Witch, he will die with the cursed damage. So that's going to be um, one the second main counter because it's just going to be very hard to... If you don't have Disco Ray, use Disco Ray in the deck too um, to get the Witch. If the Van Gun shoots, you have Disco Ray, he will not get the cursed damage. But yeah, moving on to number three now, and that is going to be Snipe. Uh, this is why you want to use Dome. Safety Dome is harder to predict using Snipe. As you can see, Snipe has a little red dot. It's very brief, but you can tell if he, if he has Snipe because of how the red dot, and then you can place a Safety Dome, time it properly. But uh, Spell Rod is definitely better counter to it because you don't have to predict the timing. But yeah, those are the top three cards that benefit and the top three cards that counter it. So yeah, we'll get into some gameplay right now. So as you can see in this deck here, I have, this is my main deck I use. I got cheerleaders, I got dome, and I got sheriff justice. The ones that benefit him the most are those. And I'm using the commander Q P1D skin against DRX6. Good luck to you. Good luck. So what you want to do here, if you got a star up like this, you're going to want to cycle to cheerleaders so you can get the cheer squad to go, uh, the, get the radius to be larger and since you've just played that I'm just going to play Yetlings. So I'm going to place Cheer Squad at the back in between both towers because if you didn't know the new buff now he the Cheer Squad affects towers and buildings so the towers will get buffed too. So he's also using that gun so this is going to be a very good matchup so you know he's going for my cheerleader so I can share up Justin and pull him away. And that will definitely help. Um, yeah, he played Safety Dome, so that was a well played on his part. Um, most players do use Witch, and so that's why I didn't Rage there, so I didn't want to have to go around him and just waste my Rage. But since he's there, I'm going to place my Van Gun in the corner. Now he's going to go for him. He's going to Rage up, and so I can have my Witch ready in hand and place that down right away. So he's going to take Curse Damage since he already used his heal. 
We're probably gonna get very good value out of that. And so since he placed his cheerleaders down, I'm gonna be cautious of this witch. Yep, there it is. So be cautious. You gotta be cautious about those witches. Disco ray it. Now I won't take the curse damage. And then kill the cheer squad. Not gonna retreat back, use yetlings. And then restart the push if you get all destroyed with cheerleaders again. Most of the time you do want to place cheerleaders first, so you already have that damage boost going when you place the van gun down. And yeah. Since he's coming in very close here, I might just share just a share just a minute. Sheriff Justin, Bruh. and this could be uh, GG right here. Yeah, good game. So yeah, you saw I played that there. You place a van gun with the cheerleaders. You can, depending on if he uses his rage, you can place the van gun and the cheerleaders um, some tiles apart. I think it's two tiles apart, so the splash damage won't affect both. So if he, he's shooting the cheer squad, the van gun will be safe on their side there. But yeah, that was the first match here. And I'll get into one training match so I'm, I can probably explain it a little bit better. So in this commander match, I'm going to be trying to explain the um, the cards that counter him the most. And it's just going to be a training match here so I can explain it well. So here I'm going to place Van Gun at the back and I'll try to cycle to, I'm going to cycle to Nightfall and show you guys how that affects him. So here we have the Van Gun down and as you can see here if I place the Nightfall down, his shooting animation will stop and he will just sit there for the duration of the uh, of the Nightfall. And uh, if you play your own Nightfall, it will still affect your Van Gun. So you gotta be careful about that running Van Gun and Nightfall in the same deck. And now as you can see here, if I use Snipe, you can probably, you can see that there was like a kind of like a red dot there or some kind of dot that you can kind of tell. It might have been hard to see. But yeah. Uh, that is going to be it for the training matches and this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, in the comments below, leave me a card that you want me to use. I'll do my best to try and explain it and give it the give the best cards that benefit and uh, counter them. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Um, I'm probably going to be doing another giveaway at 200, so make sure you guys subscribe for that. And yeah, have a great day. Peace.